Millions of people all around us are struggling with a type of depression that is almost completely invisible. It's called high-functioning depression, or HFD. These people might be lawyers, doctors, or CEOs. You might even be one of them. HFD is hard to spot, but there are a few signs you can look out for. 1. Those with HFD might actually be more intelligent. New research has shown a link between HFD and increased intelligence. According to a study, overdeveloped intelligence might be linked with dangers and losses that punctuate our lives. Somehow, it makes a lot of sense that geniuses tend to struggle with depression. 2. Those with high-functioning depression might be perfectionists. Professor Stephen Huprick of Psychology revealed in a recent article that if he was dealing with someone with HFD, he'd probably hear something about being kind of perfectionistic. It's almost as if those with HFD battle their issues by focusing and improving on every little detail. 3. Those with HFD might have a family history of depression. In a recent study, it was found that depressed children and adolescents with high potential often had a family history of depression and bipolar disorder. What this means is that if you're a high achiever and you're suffering from depression, it might just be genetic and something you can't control. 4. Those who have HFD often try to endure it without getting help. Healthcare professionals know that HFD can be very hard to diagnose. This is simply because most of the time, people try to endure it without getting help. High-functioning people might be in denial or they might not want to let their depression get in the way of their busy lives. 5. HFD can gradually build up, getting worse and worse over time. Doctors who have dealt with HFD note that it can really sneak up on people. It slowly but surely gets worse and the symptoms might grow in intensity without people noticing. Some doctors have described it as a slowly increasing temperature. Before you know it, you're getting fried. 6. Those with HFD don't engage in normal hobbies and activities. Professor of Psychiatry Michael Thay states that in regards to HFD, you may notice that there is a hole in this person's extracurricular life. What he means is that the person only does what they're obligated to do. Being a parent, a spouse, or a community member is absent, as are any hobbies. 7. Those who think they have HFD might actually be suffering from burnout. HFD is very tricky to diagnose and it shares a lot of similarities with burnout. Burnout, as Katie Morton states in one of her interviews with Jacksepticeye, is when you feel the reward is not worth the effort you're putting in. So it's a more casual result of working too hard, whereas HFD can occur in individuals without burnout signs. HFD is simply feeling depressed with or without doing anything. 8. People with HFD might have symptoms of clinical depression. HFD is of course a type of depression, and as such, people suffering from HFD might display the symptoms of clinical depression. These include feeling empty, sad, guilty, worthless, restless, or even suicidal. Other symptoms include changes in appetite and sleeping patterns. 9. Those with HFD might be more creative. Some of the most talented artists in the world suffer from HFD. And according to recent research, there is a strong link between HFD and creativity. According to a study from 2012, traumatic losses appear to trigger fruitful inner work, mobilizing creativity. It would seem that those with HFD use their depression to fuel their art, passions, and creativity. 10. HFD is not a real clinical diagnosis. That's right, you won't find HFD listed along with other recognized mental disorders. That might change soon, but for the most part, it falls under the category of dysthymia. HFD can last for two to three years and it can easily progress to major depression. HFD is treatable, but those who have it need to get help. If people put on a brave face and try to endure it, it can lead to much more serious issues down the road. Do you have HFD? How long have you been suffering? The Psych2Go community would love to hear your story. For YouTube Giving Week 2018, a donate button has been enabled on this video. If you would like to support the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation, you may do so by pressing the button. Please do not feel pressure to make monetary donations, as even just liking the video and sharing it to others would be wonderful. 100% of every dollar donated for research is invested in the research grants, which funds the most innovative ideas in neuroscience and psychiatry to better understand the causes and develop new ways to treat brain and behavior disorders. 
They include depression, ADHD, anxiety, OCD, PTSD, autism, bipolar disorder, and more. Please check out our link below to learn more about the Brain and Behavior Foundation. If you're going through a tough time right now, I just want to extend a big virtual hug to you and let you know that everything is going to be alright. The Psych2Go community is always here for you, so please share your stories with us below and let's help each other. As always, thank you so much for watching.